god, what's going on with my hair? Oh, that is not attractive. Right. Good morning, everyone. Um, today I am going to attempt to make my first ever proper vlog. Um, I am currently in the middle of moving house. So um, I haven't been able to like sit down and make a proper video or write a blog post um, for a couple of weeks just because I've been so busy packing and now we've moved in and now I'm busy unpacking and I also had a change of jobs during that time as well so I had to go down to um, Surrey for uh, some training and it's just been like a really hectic couple of weeks. Um, I still haven't finished moving in properly, we've still got so many things to unpack and I've got things that I need to buy for the place and stuff like that but despite all that really boring stuff, today I am actually going to the hairdressers which for a lot of people is not going to be like a particularly big deal but I do not go to the hairdressers, I have a real love-hate relationship with the hairdressers I've been to so many different hairdressers over the years and I have just, I mean I once I found a salon that I really liked um, and I went there for like nearly a year I think while I was blonde at that time when I was like 17, 18 um, and oh my god this cut is so heavy. Um, but yeah the last time I had my hair cut was 14 months ago in August right before my 21st birthday and um, I had relatively long hair at the time and it was it was blacky sort of red it was like a black red color and it came down to past my boobs which was the length that I really wanted it but because of all the layers that I had and everything it just looked nasty and like a rat's tail so I had it all cut off and you know what the lady did what I asked um, it was maybe a little bit shorter than I wanted it, but I did have to have all of that cut off because it was just nasty. And obviously 14 months later it's kind of grown back, so it's not like the end of the world or anything. But I don't know, I just have this real complex because so many times I've gone to the hairdressers and they've just messed up my hair. Like, I went, actually, no, tell a lie, I did actually go to a unisex barber shop um, about four or five months ago um, to have my fringe trimmed because I just couldn't be bothered doing it myself and she ended up going around and like trimming the rest of my hair and like I didn't mind her trimming the ends it wasn't like um, a wash but it was literally like you walk in with your hair and she just cuts it as it is um, but she ended up like before I knew it she started cutting into the side bits and I was like whoa 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 I don't like I don't want them cut I'm trying to grow them out like stop and um yeah she made them wonky so i was just like oh for fuck's sake so um i need to go back to the hairdressers anyway to have that mistake fixed because i'm not oh shaky shaky because i'm not like i'm like confident cutting my fringe and everything but i don't like cutting the rest of my hair i usually just let it grow and you know will appear in the hairdressers once a year if that. So today is that day, um, but I'm not just going to get my hair cut, obviously my roots are looking really dire, um, but I have decided that I don't want to stop being blonde, but I can't be asked with being blonde. So I'm going to get her to um, ombre my hair um, from like my natural hair colour. Now originally when I went in yesterday and I spoke to her, she, we had agreed on like sort of doing my roots a little bit darker than this blonde and then every time I'd go back do it a little bit darker until we get there but I cannot afford that so I'm just going to get her to straight ombre it from brown to blonde and hopefully have like the blending point round about here just because I like bleaching my own hair I think I've, I was blonde for about three years from between the ages of 16 to 19 and yeah, no, even, even longer really, because I didn't dye my hair dark again until um, just before my 20th birthday when I started a new job. Um, and I love being blonde, I really do. I feel like, I don't know, some people say I suit dark hair more than I suit lighter hair, um, but I like being blonde. I feel really comfortable being blonde. I don't like, I feel like when I have dark hair, it doesn't look, like when I style it and everything, it just doesn't look as 
cowl. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like being blonde, it just sort of stands out a little bit more, which is stupid because like so many people are blonde. But anyway, that's what I feel comfortable with. So I don't want to like completely not be blonde. But at the same time, I do have naturally quite dark hair and it is just such an effort to constantly, I mean, this is like four weeks regrowth. Um, and it's, uh, I just can't be bothered. I really can't anymore. Um, I've got more expensive, more important things to worry about than bleaching my hair. Um, and yeah, so that's why I'm deciding to go and get that ombre. Um, I, I probably could have done it myself. But I was really worried about messing it up and actually getting like that blending point even. So I thought it's just going to be easier if I go to the hairdressers. Um, and I found one that uses um, forty three hair products. So I know Fudge are forty three, and they use well, they use uh, can't speak. So they use Fudge hair dye and Fudge styling products. So. Um, yeah, so that I'd spent quite a while trying to find a salon that, that had those sorts of products anyway. Um, but yeah, so before I go to the salon, I've got to go out and buy a few bits and bobs for the house. I'm not sure how much um, I'm going to be able to film inside the salon just because it's the first time I've ever been there and um, I'm still new to this whole vlogging thing. So we'll, we will just see how much I manage to record, but of course I will show you how my hair looks afterwards. Um, but yeah, off to the shops. So, massive thank you to um, Donna and Louise, because Donna was the one who was doing my hair and then Louise came over and actually did my fringe, so I do believe Louise owns the salon, um, I, th I think that's their names, I really hope it is, but um, yeah, so really awesome, really happy and um, yeah, love it, I don't really have anything else, do you like it Jack? Do you like it? Do you like my hair? You don't care, do you? But yeah, no, my face looks really awful now because I had all the little bits of my fringe fall on it and then like had to wipe it all off. So that's a little bit funny, but there we go. Really love it anyway. It's um, so nice. And now uh, hopefully I am one step closer to actually getting my hair back to its natural. Uh, colour, although to be honest, I'm so loving this ombre. I don't 
don't think that's going to happen anymore. I'll just keep holding it on breathe. What are you doing in your crate? Huh? Focus. By the way guys, this isn't cruel. He obviously loves his bed. He's just gone in it on his own. No, some people think crates are cruel. But they're not, and it stops him from chewing when we're out of the house. Doesn't it? I don't think he's a chewer, but... Having heard him from a rescue, he just don't know. That's really mean. Like you're in a cage. <laughs> yeah. So I'm probably gonna end this vlog here because the rest of my night is just gonna consist of me unpacking all of the boxes and sorting stuff out so I don't really have anything interesting left to do. And then I'm gonna edit this and hopefully upload it tonight because I'm just so excited and I want to show it. It's so lovely. Um, oh yeah, just wanna say sorry that I didn't take, like didn't take you guys, didn't film in the shops and stuff, but it just, I don't know, I just, um, was a bit worried about getting some seriously dodgy looks and uh, I couldn't film on the way back because as you can see it's um, pitch black outside. So yeah, really happy. Um, gonna head back in two weeks to have my fringe trimmed there again. So you know because she did such an epic job like there's, I'm highly doubt I'm ever gonna cut my fringe again and she said that it's free fringe trims from for all of the regular customers. So, you know, as long as I keep going back and having my hair done, which why wouldn't I? Because they were just so lovely in there and they did a perfect job. Um, oh, I haven't told you the name of the salon. It is um, Salon 16. Yeah, me um. Yeah, Salon 16, which is in Hina, um, which nobody is gonna know where that is, but it's in Derbyshire, sort of in between Derby and Nottingham, so any of you live in and around this area which probably no one is then that's a really good salon to go to but yeah I'll probably link to their Facebook page and everything um, in the description box and uh, yeah super duper happy with it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video oh one last thing that I forgot to mention was um, this is like a big deal for me. I know I've just talked about like going back to the salon and everything. I am never happy with getting my hair done at a salon. This is the first time in years I've actually been like, I'm gonna go there again. So um, yeah, I just wanted to make that point. That is how much I like that now. And I'm excited. I found my salon. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Goodbye for the second time.